Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit punches harder within Adobe Premiere. I'm going to be using examples from this amazing anime quarantine fight scene video I made in 2020. Sorry, that was a mouthful. And I'm basically going to show you how to speed ramp punches in Premiere to make them look faster. Um, a lot of other tutorials or like tips will be to cut out frames so the punches look like they're going faster. And so this is just an alternate way to do that without losing any frames. And when you use remapping within a fight scene, you can actually kind of choreograph it to be a little like um, well thought out. So I'll be showing you with this example here, and this is an example of that. So this is the original footage. We, we actually played out the scene really slow. You'll see here that he's bringing my head against the wall really slowly because we knew in the edit we were gonna speed it up um, in Premiere, and this, is what, and this is what that looked like. Ooh, do you see how beautiful? Bam. And so I'm gonna show you how to, so I'm gonna show you how to achieve this by like beefing up your punches and your hits. Um, and then another fantastic example from that same video. So here's my old roommate hitting me in the face. Um, this is the footage in real time. You can notice how we're, we're going kind of slow here. And then here's the after. Ooh, do you see how hard those punches are right now? And that's just in comparison with the first one. Look, he's moving so much slower. Okay, that's enough exposition. So I'm gonna be showing you how to make your punches look harder and cooler in Adobe uh, Premiere. So first things first, we are going to be editing speed keyframes. And the only way we can work with those is if we right click on our clip and if we scroll all the way down, all the way down to the very bottom, we see show clip keyframes. And if we go over to the side and click remapping, we'll see speed. So let's check this box, boop. And so now this line in the middle of our Adobe Premiere clip right here, uh, it's basically time. If I bring this up really fast, the clip will get shorter because now it's way faster. See, now the whole thing is super fast. But if I bring this line down really low, it just makes the clip normal. Or if you drag it down super low, it slows it down just like this. <laughs> Pretty sick. Okay, so I'll just bring this back to 100. You can see the little value counter in the middle there. And so now what we do is we're gonna play around with this line to animate all the different speed. So you can see here my buddy pulls my head back in real time and we start going basically in slow motion right here, just so the, the hit doesn't actually hurt my head. So we'll create a keyframe the moment we start slowing down and in the control panel over here on the top left, You'll see t time remapping in the speed keyframe. If we come over here and make one at this moment, and then we go over until we want it to go back to normal speed, which is when my head hits this door. It's got that cool practical effect of uh, the camera bouncing. So I will create my second keyframe right here. And so everything in between these two keyframes is now editable by this white line. So I'm gonna pull it up. So if we watch that back, you can see it's making that part of the clip faster. Bam. But what's happening now is it's moving too fast and it's happening too quickly. And so it's not just enough to have these two keyframes and make the in-between faster. We have to ease the speed into this, um, this line here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, these little handles that came with the keyframe. We're going to drag them over so we see a nice slope. What this is gonna do is ease the speed into those hits. So now it's like a slow curve into the hard hit. Bam, let's watch it back. Ooh, that's pretty good. I actually think maybe it needs to last a little bit longer. So if we wanna move these keyframes, we'll just drag them out in the direction of where you want the speed to be. So right here, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just literally watching myself get hit in the face over and over again. And so here's a really great example of how speed ramping hits can really help. Because in this scene, we filmed it really easily, super safe by moving slow, but it achieves this really cool effect. Especially if you're doing something crazy like an anime fight, 
you can get away with cool techniques like this. It just looks stylistic. And now for a more traditional punch. Let's take this scene where this character hits me in the face. I'm gonna speed ramp this elbow that hits me because you'll see it's kind of slow. You see that? A little bit slow. So these last two hits I'll speed ramp for you. So if we go to the moment it starts getting slow, which I'd say right here, because look how much time happens till he hits me again. I'm going to remember, right click on this clip, go all the way down to the bottom, show clip keyframes, time remapping, and speed. So now, if we come up to the project control settings, under time remapping and hit that keyframe, we'll go over to when we want to go back to 100% normal speed, probably right here. Let's create another keyframe, and everything in between we can raise up, and now that's gonna be faster. Ooh, that already looks way better. But remember, we gotta blend in the keyframes by dragging them inside of each other. I don't know why I decided to make that sound so weird. But you essentially just have to drag the keyframes apart from each other to ease in the speed. Oof, that's beautiful. And so you can see already just how much the speed is helping this punch look way better. And now, to top it off, we'll do this punch here. Because now that that one's pretty fast, that one looks pretty slow. So it gets pretty slow around this moment here. So keyframe for speed. Go over until we want it to be normal speed again, which is right here because my head is moving pretty fast. I'll create a keyframe and then everything in between will raise up. Remember, we're going to ease in these speed frames by dragging the keyframes into each other. Let's see if that looks cooler. Ooh, I love it. Let's render that clip and check it out. I'm just gonna leave that clip on loop because it looks so good. So the speed ramping here I think is really effective. Also really good blocking and whatnot, but I definitely think without these speed ramping keyframes, the hits would not look as hard. And so that's the tutorial guy. So I hope you learned a lot from this little breakdown of how to edit hits to be harder. I hope you now know that you can actually film a lot safer by moving a little bit slower in your actions knowing you can stylistically speed them up in post to make the punches look cool, hard, and fast. Um, and of course, I gotta thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. This desk has wheels, by the way, so I can move that out of the way. <clears throat> From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're a photographer, that's Perfect. You can upload all of your photos to Squarespace because they have award-winning designer templates in their portfolios and galleries section. So you can upload your work to the world in a professional way and make it very, very um, pretty. Also, Squarespace lets you stay connected between all of your platforms. Let's say maybe you have a fashion Instagram account or you're a SoundCloud rapper. You can embed those social medias into your Squarespace website so the people who come to your site can follow you on all of your social medias. So it's great for cross promotion, so stay connected with Squarespace. And lastly, let's talk about their analytics. They're very helpful for a dummy like me. You're probably smart too, but they're also great for smart people as well. Bottom line is there's lots of charts, lots of numbers that tell you who comes to your website, who's buying your product, where everyone's coming from, their age, demographic, etc. All these numbers don't make sense to me, but the way Squarespace puts them together in their beautiful analytics chart is gorgeous. Very helpful, especially for creators and people who don't think like that. I studied film, not numbers. Okay, now that you know I'm just utterly stupid, let me... <laughs> So the best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. So thanks for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. And everybody, don't forget, where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.